good morning or good. Oh, I feel so good after a good night's sleep, sweaty workout, and now I'm walking to the one and only Zest. You know when you like go somewhere and it's like, I should go somewhere different, but you just creature of habit, and Zest is the best. If you've been to Ugwood, you would know this. But also, sometimes as a blogger, I feel like this pressure to like go places or new places to try things, just because I'm like, oh, the audience might like it, but it's like, actually, Renee, what do you want? And in that, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you will know that I have a bunch of like rituals, whether it be dance every day or have a word of the day. And today's word of the day is choice. And I've made the choice that I would really like to go to Zest. I'm gonna get the chickpea pancake. I know that's what I want. I got my laptop here. I'm working remotely, just editing content, emails, pitching, getting organized for my Euro trip. So today I'm gonna go there and then I'm going to change it by myself for two days. Just gonna catch up with some friends there that I kind of live there. But otherwise, I'm just really looking forward to some solo time. Look at the sun on my skin. Okay, this is where I'm going to be journaling from this morning. The best. Holly's just staying out with their laptop. This is the sweet potato hash stack. Oh my god, Holly, this looks so good. I got the chickpea omelette, always. So good. So first off, I'm going to go find a cute cafe that I have seen online and also just in the storage boutiques and then we go back to get to my hotel. But these are everywhere in Chengu, like lots of cute little boutiques. To be honest, I just went to this one and everything feels a bit pricey, like not cheaper than Australia unless you're obviously at the market. But up here there is a wild, which looks like a sustainable like plant-based clothing store. So I'm excited to go in there and have a look. This is Samadhi, which is a supermarket. I think it's like mostly organic uh, vegan, but I do see salmon, so maybe not. And then behind it is apparently a cafe and an ice cream shop, which I'm excited to go to. But guys, it is hot. Okay, ended up coming to Samadhi. This is the, I think, sustainable um, cafe. A lot of the food is vegan, but I got the Bovishly Rice Nuna Bowl, and then I'm definitely gonna get some of that ice cream after, but I'm just working on Something exciting with a veg kit, which I will share with you guys in coming months. Look at all these vegan ice creams. Yum, they look so, so good. I love this so much. Okay, something Australia could do a whole lot better is the amount of vegan tarts you can just buy. This is Shady Shack, and if you've been to Bali or watched my other vlogs, you know that I love this place. I just come here for a quick coffee at work, and then I'm gonna go and get my teeth one. Peanut butter raw caramel tart. Shady Shack vibes, black vibes. I'm walking to my villa. So good. This is a villa that I booked um, on booking.com. They're at a really good price, but it's called Breeze Hotel. And it's in a great location, super close to all the vegan spots um, and all the things I'm very excited to do, like just go to the gym, go to the beach, get a massage. Um, it's about a 300 meter walk from Body Factory, um, which is a gym I go to when I'm here. But this is the room. First of all, very cute mirror. Cute little boho. It's got a nice TV. It's got laundry. It's got two pools, which is really cool. And I think it's pretty pricey as well. Um, so, book ahead. Book me not on your phone for some reason. It's cheaper. I would highly recommend coming here to Times Marang uh, for sunset. It is a beautiful spot. It's also a great spot for sunrise if there is a good sunrise. Um, over there, that is uh, the lawn, which is a great beach club. It's like not in the beach club, like drinking mood. It's gonna be a little bit more wholesome. Um, so I'm just literally saw a bee bag and just my <laughs> And then I'm gonna meet um, a friend at Yuki, which is just across the road by Thayer and Japanese restaurant. Actually, to meet these guys. Seconds, it's a food media app, um, but turn the series that I interview chefs and people. I'm um, so I interview the chefs there, but I've always loved them. They do like the best cocktails and delicious, like wood pellet sashimi, uh, like tacos. Yeah, so I love that, that place. Every time I go to Bali, I go there. So I'm gonna do my journal and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, go for them. Also, guys, in Bali, when you put your name down somewhere, they like write down your description, which I mean, controversial, but okay this time because they wrote tall girl. I'm not that tall, but I will take that. Um, I'm also wearing, 
my pajama pants as pants. Okay, this is Yuki. There's one in Uluwatu and one in uh, Chengu where I am. And it is the best Japanese dining right by the beach. I'll go wrong. Are you a food blogger, Bubby? Baby. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Yes. 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 Yes.
Uh, we're gonna head towards the beach. Everybody's gonna have a cool. As I said, 40 minute AMRAP, so you'll we'll just work through it at your own pace. It's like coffee and a whiz ball and picked up my washing. This is where I'm staying, which is so cute. Well, at Run Club this morning with the Body Factory, it was intense. I wanted 10 kilometers, but I got to eight. It was like literally bright red. I was like, Renee, listen to your body, listen to your mind, that's what you'll do. So I got the scooter back to Body Factory, did a bit of a strength workout. And now I am starving. I've got to pack up to check out of here today. So I'm just going to do that. So getting your washing down here is such a luxury. Like they literally line your underwear. It's iconic. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to either I Am Vegan Babe or Shady Shack, do some work and then just explore today. That's my day. Where the day today is process. Oh, I love Bali. I'm also going to share with you guys um, all the things I recommend doing before you get to Bali to make it super easy to travel. Because a few people asked me on Renee on my Instagram. <laughs> I'm in a, bit. a few people asked me if it's safe to travel as a woman, a single woman, and I will let you know. I'll answer this. Okay, final day here in Chengdu, and deciding where to eat is always the hardest thing. But come to I am being baby because my friend Ash is working here. I would work here. Here she is. Oh my god! I was gonna go back to Shady Shack, but I am so glad I came here. <laughs> this looks so good. I am vegan, babe. Their breakfast menu is so extensive. I got the Zen Garden Bowl. This mushroom looks so good. Wow. Love well, Anchor is kind of where you can come in Chengdu to get like touristy stuff. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in and try and get a couple of little gifts and then get out because it's pretty hectic. My friends, tempeh chips. One word. Get on them. Yum. Okay, if you've seen other vlogs, you would have seen Alkaline. It's 100% like very local, very affordable vegan cafe morong. And I'm just going there to get some of my favorite protein bars for the flight. Yum. These are mushrooms. This looks good. Creature of habit back at Trader Jack. And I got myself the same cauliflower rice bowl, but I added tempeh this time. It's quarter to 11, and if you know me in my wellness era, this is late for me. I'm flying to the Gold Coast um, before I go back to Melbourne, so I will touch base with you guys to sign this vlog off because I have got some tips for you, but right now, I'm tired. Hi YouTube, back in Australia, went for a 5k run this morning, when I got back I'm feeling zonky because don't do the midnight flight. Anyway, just wanted to jump on here and uh, promise you guys, as I said, the recommendations to make it super easy to fly to Indonesia at the moment. So here's my hot tips. Number one, get your visa and immigration sorted before you get there. You can uh, do all your immigration online before you actually arrive. Just saves a bunch of time whilst you're there. Next up, get an eSIM. This means you literally don't have to change your SIM. You just get like an electronic SIM to your phone. I use the um, app called Holify and you can pay before you go. It's just way easier to get around, order food, order scooters, um, and have internet everywhere you go, which is super useful. So the Holify is the app that I used. I'll pop a link in the YouTube uh, bio as well. The other thing is Wise. If you're looking at changing money like instantly, Wise is a really good uh, card that you can add to your Apple wallet or your Android wallet if that's your thing. So Wise is a great app. I'll also link it below. Uh, what else is I going to tell you? Yeah, definitely ask the people in uh, Indonesia, like how are they? They've got really beautiful stories and culture and history and I think everyone I interacted with, they tried to make sure I learned something from. Tipping's still a thing. Please tip if you can, even if it's just like 50 cents or a dollar, it goes a long way in that country. And I think that's really it. Yeah, last one, don't drink the tap water. Make sure you don't do that. Get bottled water. And if you can, BYO water, just like water bottle, fill it up. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bon voyage.